On October 27, 2013, after nearly two months of waiting since joining Barcelona, Neymar officially made his debut on the grandest stage of world football, El Clasico against Real Madrid. It wasn't Messi or Ronaldo, but Neymar who was the most anticipated figure among fans. They were eager to see if the young talent from Brazil could follow in the footsteps of Rivaldo, Ronaldo or Ronaldinho to become the focal point of these super clashes. And not to disappoint the Coulets, Neymar had an incredibly brilliant performance with a goal and an assist, helping Barca defeat their arch rivals with a 2-1 score. In the stands of Camp Nou, 90,000 Barcelona supporters rejoiced as their expensive signing shone in his first El Clasico. On the other side, Real Madrid fans experienced contrasting emotions. To them, it wasn't just a defeat in a match. They had lost to their rivals in a three-year-long race to secure Neymar's signature. When Neymar began to emerge as a phenomenon at Santos, many top European clubs took notice. And Real Madrid was no exception. From his early days at Santos, Neymar showcased innate talent with skillful techniques, speed, and impressive goal-scoring abilities. His dazzling dribbles, intelligent passes, and precise finishes caught the attention of the media and scouts. At 19, in 2011, despite still playing in his homeland, Neymar became a global phenomenon by leading Santos to victory in the Copa Libertadores. His name now rivaled any star playing in Europe. With his exceptional football skills, distinct personality and style, Neymar possessed all the qualities Real Madrid sought in a superstar. Confident in their allure, Los Blancos believed they were leading the race to sign the young Brazilian talent. In reality, Real Madrid was the first European giant to approach Neymar. In 2005, 13-year-old Neymar was invited to Spain to visit the Castilla Training Center and meet the Galacticos stars like Zidane, Figo, and Ronaldo. Recognizing Neymar's special talent, Real Madrid extended an offer to his family to join their youth academy, promising to take care of his education, provide housing for his family, and find a job for his father. Everything was prepared for signing, but Santos refused to let it happen. Having recently lost Robinho to Real Madrid, Santos needed to nurture a new club icon. With significant funds from selling Robinho and fundraising efforts from fans, Santos was determined to keep their gem as long as possible. However, some sources suggest the issue wasn't with Santos. Real Madrid received a request for a 60,000 euro Greece fee from Neymar's agent, Wagner Ribeiro. The Los Blancos' general manager at the time, Carlos Martinez de Albornoz, deemed the amount unreasonable for a teenager. In 2009, when Florentino Perez took over as club president, Real Madrid once again expressed their desire to sign Neymar, even sending two lawyers to draft a contract and submit an offer to Santos. This time, however, Real Madrid was rejected by Neymar's family. They weren't ready to leave Brazil yet, preferring Neymar to develop and refine his skills at home before moving to the highly competitive European football environment. Disappointed, Real Madrid's representatives left, unaware that their arch-rival Barcelona was secretly negotiating with Santos and Neymar's family. Despite arriving later, the Catalan club made significant strides in convincing the young Brazilian talent to join Camp Nou. Barca not only enticed Neymar with a lucrative salary and attractive contract terms, but also emphasized a playing style that suited him and an environment where he could maximize his potential. Another key factor in Neymar's decision was personal relationships. While Barca president Sandro Rossell had a close relationship with Neymar's family, Neymar himself often expressed admiration for Messi and a desire to become teammates with the Argentine star. In the summer of 2013, as the race for Neymar's signature reached its final stage, Barca was on the verge of securing the deal. According to the agreement, the Brazilian star would join Camp Nou for 88 million euros. In a last-ditch effort, Florentino Perez decided to offer an unprecedented amount to overturn the situation. Spanish media revealed that Real Madrid planned to break the world transfer record with a 105 million euro bid to Santos. Moreover, Los Blancos offered Neymar a highly lucrative package, including a 10 million euro annual salary and 70% of his image rights. Neymar would also receive a top-tier villa in La Moraleja, 
and be mentored by Zidane at Bernabeu to prevent isolation or conflicts with influential players in the dressing room. However, these belated efforts by Florentino Perez couldn't change the outcome. On July 1, 2013, Neymar chose to join Barcelona instead of Real Madrid. This was a painful blow to the prestige of the Spanish Royal Club and its president. Ultimately, Real Madrid had to shift their focus to Gareth Bale to save face. But that wasn't the only time Real Madrid failed to sign Neymar. In 2017, after achieving all possible successes with Barca, Neymar sought a new challenge and a chance to surpass Lionel Messi. Real Madrid, of course, couldn't miss this opportunity. The Bernabeu club wanted to create a second Luis Figo-like transfer saga. They quickly approached Neymar and his representatives to persuade him to join the Royal Club. Florentino Perez made an attractive offer, promising that Neymar would become the new icon at Real Madrid, especially as Cristiano Ronaldo hinted at a desire to leave. Neymar even contacted Real Madrid players from Marcelo to compatriot Casemiro and even hinted to Los Blancos' coaching staff. However, Real Madrid couldn't anticipate that their opponent this time on the negotiating table was Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, who made a shocking decision. Backed by Arab owners, PSG decided to spend 222 million euros to trigger Neymar's release clause from Barcelona. PSG also committed to building the team around Neymar, making him the centerpiece of all their plans and strategies. This meant PSG would recruit quality players to support Neymar, creating the best conditions for him to shine. Finally, PSG assured Neymar they would completely change the landscape of European football, with the balance of power shifting towards France. Once again, Real Madrid failed with Neymar. Their repeated misses with Neymar is a unique story in the world of football, especially since Los Blancos is an ideal destination for any star. Despite multiple approaches and attractive offers, the Spanish Royal Club still couldn't recruit the Brazilian star. The lessons from their failed attempts to sign Neymar include not only transfer strategy issues, but also the approach and management of young talents from Brazil. This includes investing in youth training systems, seeking and recruiting potential young players worldwide instead of waiting for rising stars to shine. Real Madrid has been ready to spend on young Brazilian talents like Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo Goes, and most recently, Endrick, exemplifying their strategy to recruit young talent from Brazil.